So I'm a secondary student. Or in case you're American, that means I'm a high school student. So this means that I'm coming to the age where I should probably start looking for universities to apply for. And since my parents keep push for an Ivy League school, I guess I have to go to an Ivy League school. And that wouldn't be such a big problem if Bruh. my grades weren't so bad. Just kidding, my grades are pretty good. At least in all the subjects I need anyway. But I'm gonna need some more stuff so that the people at the universities look at me and be like, we need this person on our campus now. But the problem is, I don't do any important extracurriculars like football or taking an instrument. The only extracurricular I do is playing Minecraft, Bruh. which may explain my inability to get girls to like me. Hmm. But I do know how to code. So I decided to make some projects that would impress the university's admission councils. And one of them was a convert to website. Now, since the market for them is pretty oversaturated, I decided to make an all-in-one converter website, like those don't already exist, and they would have all the things that a user could ever need. Well, almost everything a user could ever need. So I'm talking about distance, volume, currency, speed, and even nether portal coordinates, because you can't make a converter website that doesn't calculate nether portal coordinates. I've decided to document this entire thing in this YouTube video. Now everybody knows that if you don't make a plan, well, you're planning to fail. And this might explain why I suck at building in Minecraft, because I never plan. So I've decided to categorize the different converters that I'll be needing, and if requested, I'll add more. So now that that's settled, let's actually start making the damn thing. To start off, I decided to create this bare bones template so I can have a general idea of what the currency converter would look like. And for the time being, every converter that I'll be making will just be as simple as input to, input from, like that. Now, the first order of business was figuring out how do I get the live exchange rates. And I'm not a very smart guy, as you can probably tell. But there are smarter people on YouTube who can show me how to get the live exchange rates for my currency converter website. And after watching a couple of videos and doing a little bit of tweaking, I have a currency converter that will convert every single currency you need. Well, apart from mine coins, but who needs that? Am I right, Microsoft? Now that we have currency done, it's time to tackle all the other essential converters like distance, speed, mass, volume, and time. Now that I've done the hardest converter, it's now time to move on to easier things. Or so I thought. You see, after I created a simple converter between meters and centimeters, I had thought to myself, how would I be able to account for every single possibility of converters? Like, for example, what if I wanted to randomly do meters to feet, or feet to inches? You see that problem? I have to account for every single scenario, and if I wanted to add new measurements, I'd have to account for every single possible scenario, including that measurement. Now, that doesn't seem very time viable, especially due to the fact that I want to release this video as soon as possible, Bruh. but I did come up with a solution. You see, if I convert it to the standard metric, for example, if I'm trying to convert centimeters to feet, what I do is I convert centimeters to meters, and then I convert the meters value to feet. Now, I'm not sure if this sounds janky or bad, but it works. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And with that knowledge under my belt, I was able to finish off the length, speed, volume, time, and mass converters. And now we have the final converter to do. Well, at least for this video. And that is the nether portal calculator. But before I do that, I should probably tell you how a nether portal even works. If you're a Minecraft fan, skip ahead to whatever I put on screen right now. So in Minecraft, there are two dimensions, the nether and the overworld. The reason that this calculator would be useful to a demographic of people is because that it's common practice to travel a short distance in the nether to travel long distances in the overworld. Since 8 blocks in the overworld is equivalent to 1 block in the nether, hence why traveling in the nether is actually technically faster. 
But if you want to know where to place your portal to go to a specific set of coordinates in the overworld, you have to divide the, I believe, the nether value by 8. I can't remember, I'll put it on screen. But yeah, so I have to make a calculator that corresponding on what what uh, set of coordinates you put, the other one will return. So if I want to put in my nether coordinates, it will return the overall coordinates, likewise. So I better get on with coding this calculator. And now we're done. Every single converter done. Now I have to start making the website look nice. So first I have to plan, again, how the website is going to look. And after 5 minutes of using Google Draw, I have a general idea of how the website will look. So I got to work. And with that, we have a somewhat completed converter website with a bunch of different converters. I plan to fully develop this converting website and commercially release it with a proper domain and everything. But if you want to visit the beta version of this website, you can get the link in the description. But just do note that this website gets constantly updated. So if you're using it and randomly it stops working, it probably means that I'm probably bug testing or something, I don't know. But yeah, so keep that in mind. And if you have any suggestions for any types of converters that you want to use, well, write them in the comments because I plan to make YouTube shorts about adding you guys' ideas for converters or calculators. So leave a comment if you wish. And just note that if I do select your comment for the video, you'll be put in the horrible dimensions tab in the website, so keep that in mind. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Please like and subscribe so I can get monetized and I can afford to buy a gaming PC since I've been editing this entire thing on my iPad and just the computers in school because I don't know but I think I've broken my laptop. So how me fun for a gaming PC or laptop, I don't know. Anyway, remember that no matter what your mom says, keep gaming.